All right, it's time to begin class once again. Time to begin. Hush, listen, and learn. I've got some language terms on the board today, some words that you may or may not be using correctly. And so we're going to find out today if you can and introduce some words you may or may not have had before. You've been in my class, you have had these before. Let's review them. And there are the words there, 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 it's, it's, your, your, two, two, two. Notice that there are some that sound the same but are spelled differently and mean something different. And so we want to know the difference between them and how to use them correctly in a sentence. So let's start with the first one. There, there, and there. There are three of them, all spelled differently. Notice there is T-H-E-R-E, -E, T-H-E-I-R, and T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E. They all mean something different and are used differently in a sentence. Let's look at this first one, there. And I am trying to get out of the way so that you can see the words. Your seeing this is more important than seeing me. So let's look. There is an introductory adverb telling where. Where? Over there, right? There. Where is it? There. It's there. It's a direction. It's a place. It's where. For example, the purse is over there. Notice I underlined the word there. So memorize T-H-E-R-E -E is there, a direction or a place, or telling where. That's one of the adverb questions is where, there. The next there, there, T-H-E-R-E -E, may also, actually, before we go to the next one, there's another uh, way to use this one. There once was a man named Jed. There once was a man named Jed. You also use the T-H-E-R-E. It's the one that often begins uh, fairy tales. There once was a girl. There once was a boy. There once was a man. Well, not just a fairy tale, but a story, a good beginning. Once upon a time there was. All right. There. They were there. It's a, it's where? There. They were there. All right. Now we'll go to the next one. T-H-E-I-R, there. Let's look at that one. All right. T-H-E-I-R, there. There, this there, is a possessive pronoun. I want to make sure I put a period at the end of that sentence since that is a sentence. There is a possessive pronoun pronoun. When we say possessive, it shows ownership. Their house, their car, their dog, right? It shows ownership, right? It was theirs. Their house is quite nice. Their house is quite nice. Whose house? Their house. And you can always ask whose there, right? Possessive, whenever you see the word possessive, because you're going to see that word several times today. The word possessive means ownership. I possess it. I have it. Possessive is ownership. So the possessive pronoun, when I say possessive pronoun, pronoun meaning a word that takes the place of a noun, instead of saying someone's name, or if it's a thing, saying the word, you say something that refers to it. It's a pronoun and it's showing ownership. All right, whose house? Their house. And then there's a third there. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Notice the apostrophe 
whenever there's an apostrophe, which looks like that comma that's in the air, sort of, that means contraction. And a contraction means there's two words put together to make one word. So there is a contraction for they are. Again, I need to put a period at the end of my sentence. There, could we say they are? Put the words they are, and if you're not sure whether this one's used correctly, put the words they are in the sentence in place of the contraction and see if it makes sense. So let's look at this. They're some of the nicest people I have ever met. Could I say they are some of the nicest people I've ever met? Yes. So that's how you know it's the contraction there. They are. It's not this one, and it's not that one. And there you have all three theirs. There, meaning an introductory adverb telling where, T-H-E-R-E. There, showing ownership, possessive pronoun, their house, their car. And there, the contraction for they are. They are. They are some of the nicest people I've ever met. They're some of the nicest people I've ever met. And once you memorize which one's which, it will not be hard once you get it in your head. Well, that's just the first part, isn't it? The first few words, there. Now we're gonna go on to it's, your, and to. And I'm gonna change the view so that you can see it on another board where I have something written for you today. So now let's take a look at the rest of the words, all right? Let's take a look here. We have it's, and we have your, and we have two. And there are different forms of it. Hopefully you can see it all right, as I have a makeshift board for, for us today. It's is a possessive pronoun. And once again, have I, have I not put something on the board there? Sometimes it doesn't quite show up and I want to make it darker. Look, period. It's is a possessive pronoun. Remember what I said about possessive pronoun? Possessive meaning showing ownership. So what is the possessive pronoun? It's. Notice I-T-S. Now there's another one, which is I-T apostrophe S that we'll get to in a minute, which has an apostrophe. Remember whenever there's a, a, an apostrophe, it's a contraction, but we'll get to that in a minute. It's is possessive, meaning it shows ownership. The bird hurt its wing. Whose wing? Its wing. All right, it's showing ownership. So we use the I-T-S one. We do not use the I-T apostrophe S. It's I-T apostrophe S as a, is a contraction. And it's a contraction for it is. So whenever there's a contraction, you see the, it looks like the apo this apostrophe right here. There's two words that you may insert. Remember the other contraction? There, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, they are. So memorize what the other, what the words are for the contraction. It is, could we say it is we? That wouldn't make sense. So we know it's not the contraction one, it's just simply I-T-S, it's. But if we can say it is, we know that's the one to use. So, it's almost time for lunch. Mm. Is your stomach growling? Well, hang in there and we're almost done. Look, it's almost time for lunch. Could we say it is almost time for lunch? We could say it is almost time for lunch, couldn't we? So, it's, I-T apostrophe S, is the correct one to use. It is contraction or it is. 
So those are the its, the itses. <laughs> Let's go on to your. Your is a possessive pronoun. Your is possessive. Remember, it shows ownership. Your book, your ruler, your house, your parents, your school, your country. All of those show ownership, telling whose, right? If it's yours, that's whose it is. It's yours, right? So it's a possessive pronoun. Possessive again. I possess it. I own it, right? It's mine. Where is your book? Notice I've underlined the words that's being used in the sentence from our list of words for today. Your book. Whose book? Your book. See? See? Your book. It's possessive. You own the book. It's yours. Your book. But this your, while you apostrophe R-E, is different. That is also a, if you've seen apostrophe, it means it's a contraction. Now, the words for this contraction are you are. Your is a contraction for you are. If you can insert the words you are, then that's the one you use. Your, you are. All right? So, could you say you're an extraordinary person? Yes, you could. I'm going to underline the word your. Your. Now, we would not say your, where is you are book, would you? So we know it's not the contraction, is it? It's just you while you are. But in this sentence, you could say, you are, or I hope you can say this, you are an extraordinary person, right? You are an extraordinary person. Yes, I hope that's true of you, that you're extraordinary. I believe you are an extraordinary person. Well, you're, I could say you are, therefore, it's the contraction we use for that sentence. Right, so that's the difference between your, while you are, and your, while you apostrophe are. Now let's go on to the twos. There are three ways of using the word to. Watch this. Make it stay a little bit better on this wall. To is a preposition. Notice T-O. That's the first two. The second two, T-O-O. -O. And then the last one, two. T-W-O. And you can't quite see my period. I think it was there. It got rubbed off. I have three sentences there. Two is a preposition, T-O. Two is an adverb, T-O-O. -O. And two is a number, T-W-O. I found that most students remember the number two because you remember, you learned that when you were itty bitty, when you were learning all your numbers and maybe it was spelled for you too. And maybe you've seen it more or it's just in your mind better for some reason. Uh, but if not, that's the number, T-W-O. Two is a preposition. Remember your preposition list? If you've learned your prepositions, aboard, about, above, across, after, against, along, among, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, beside, between, beyond, by, down, during, except, for, from. Okay. So two is on your list. It is a preposition. It tells direction where to. I'm going there. I'm going to the store. Or I walked over to the log in the forest and sat down. Right? To. To the shop. To this. To do this. You could say it that way too. Uh, so we'll get to that one I just said in a minute. To is a preposition. It's showing direction, right? And then there's T-O-O. -O. 
to the adverb. That too is extreme or beyond, or it could also mean also. So let's look at these. Bill sallied forth to the pawn shop. It's direction. It's the preposition. There's an object of the preposition shop, and then the beginning of a prepositional phrase, to, T-O. The next to, T-O-O, -O, means in excess. It's too much. It's too hot. The pan was too hot too cold, too much, right? Too extreme, T-O-O. -O. There's too many, there's two O's there, so there's a lot of it, right? There's a lot of heat, it's too hot. There's two O's. Or, may I come along to? You could put the word also. So the T-O-O, -O, you could insert the word also depending on the sentence. Now, you couldn't with this one. You wouldn't say the pen was also hot. I mean, I guess you could say that in a sentence, but that's not what we're meaning here, is it? I mean, it's more, more than I can handle, right? It's too much. It's too hard. It's too hot, right? So that's two ways of using it here. You could use the word T-O-O -O in that sense but you could also use it in the sense of also. So remember that for T-O-O. -O. And then the last one is the number two, which you shouldn't find too hard. T-O-O -O is how I just used it. Henry saw two doves in that tree. Henry saw how many? Two. T-W-O. All right, and there you have it. So again, in review for today, we talked about, I'm looking at my other board over here that you can't see right now, but the, we talked about there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, there, T-H-E-I-R, there, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. We also talked about what? It's, I-T-S versus I-T apostrophe S. Notice whenever there's an apostrophe, it's a contraction. Remember that in review. And insert the words that goes in the contraction. There's another contraction, your, which your, while you are, and while you are, while you apostrophe are. Again, the apostrophe one is the one that you are. Two words put together to make one word where that apostrophe is combining the words together insert the word for the contraction and then you'll know which one it is and then of course the two t-o the preposition t-o-o -O, in extreme an adverb telling more than enough or also and then the number two t-w-o i hope this video was a help to you today and go ahead and hit like if you liked it and if you have any questions i'll be glad to help you some more. So you do well, you take care, and remember what I often say, learn something new every day.